I want you on my side for this, Peter. I'm yours, John, you know that. I haven't finished yet. It's absolutely mandatory that you buy into my way of working. Things could get a little hairy over the next 48. You know me, John. Harry is as Harry does. Good to hear. <laughs> now, call O'Neill. Get him to postpone the meeting. What shall I tell him? Tell him any damn thing you like. Just buy me some time. <laughs> it's good to have you back, John. Save the pretty speeches till later on, Peter. We've got a long night ahead of us. Just like old times, eh? Sure, Peter. Sure. You know, it's funny, I drove through High Wycombe just the other day. <laughs> yeah, it's Peter here, get me O'Neill. And fast! And fast! <laughs> Say again? Damn it! What? O'Neill's out of town, can't be reached. Damn it to hell and back! Damn blast and double down! <laughs> Wanna try Amsterdam? No. But, I mean, come on, Peter, you're not thinking straight. Amsterdam is too obvious. Marjorie was never obvious. That's why I loved her. <laughs> My God, here's a turn up. I never thought I'd hear an old war horse like you talk about love. Love's nothing to be afraid of, Peter. You don't need a Harvard MBA to know that the boardroom and the bedroom are just two sides of the same agenda. <laughs> I wonder. Try me. Shoot. Put it together. If we were to act fast, a block of part paid ordinaries funneled through Geneva. A carefully staged pre-release of IDL preference stock through the back door, underpinned by a notional rights issue. Who the hell would be wincing then? Damn it, John. It's starting to add up. <laughs> you want me to try Sydney? Stay awake, Peter. He'll be in Australia by now. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but wait a minute. Won't they trace it back to us? A ploy like that? No. It'll have Seagrove's handwriting all over it. <laughs> and back again. But that still leaves us with Marjorie. Yeah, Marjorie. What's she after? I gave up trying to understand Marjorie years ago, Peter. Yeah, women. Marjorie's not women, Peter. No, of course not, John. I beg your pardon, I meant no offence. Something I've always been meaning to ask you. How did you manage to keep Nancy for so long? <laughs> I've never been Nancy, John. <laughs> Peter. Oh, Nancy! Oh, you know. <laughs> you take the rough with the smooth, you do your best, you cover all the angles, you, know, <laughs> you keep on grafting long hours, you think you know, but of course you don't. They talk about stress, I tell them I'm married to it. You have a daughter, I believe. Yeah, yeah, Henrietta. Did he? Did he? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> that must have hurt. That must have hurt like hell on a jet ski. You uh, never had kids of your own, I believe. You're wrong, Peter. You're so damn wrong. Oh, I beg your pardon? You're standing in my children right now. <laughs> I think I may have misheard that, John. The company, Peter. Oh, the company, yeah. I gave this company everything I've got. Damn it, New York should have run by now. Relax, John. It's still early. Yeah, but it's not going to stay early for long. <laughs> New York will come through, John. I know they will. I hope so. I hope so. There are six million people out there. Really? What do they want? <laughs> Who knows? Peter? Yeah. I say we go with it. Damn it, I agree. <laughs> if New York rings, tell them the penalty. Right. I'll get on to Susan. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think even we two can maintain a level of intense work without coming down for a space. Damn it, you're right. Besides, ah, I could use a drink. 